Hello everyone, ARG back with some more Franchise Aki Manager 8. And today in the world of Alternate Universe Aki, uh, we are going to have the 2021-2022 playoffs. In my universe, we, where sadly uh, our Ottawa Senators fell short, um, we finished 12th in the East, we had a bunch of injuries, all kinds of stuff happened um, but yeah so last time out we looked at the playoff trees and everything so today I'm playing the playoffs for sure I don't know how long that's gonna take um, I'm hoping to at least make it to July 1st um, and then maybe a little bit further but uh, maybe not we'll see I have no idea at this time I'm a man without a plan at least I'm wearing pants. Although you have no way to tell right now. But I promise that I am. Alright, so... Um, well, let's get going. There's not a whole lot to look about for the Suns, right? We had a little bit of a disappointing uh, season, offensively speaking. Didn't really have anybody that stood out. I'm hoping that some of our guys are going to be able to develop further over the summer. I'm hoping that some uh, additions that I'm pl planning on making are going to help the team as well. Alright, so the nominees for the different trophies have been named. So the art is going to be between Austin Matthews, Connor McDavid, and Leon Dreisaitl. The Vizina is going to be between Connor Ellibuck, Igor Shesterkin, and Jeremy Swayman. The Norris between Matt Gerzelchuk, Mike Riley, and Victor Edmund. Mike Riley, named for the <coughs> Norris. That's uh, maybe a little bit surprising. Oh, dear God, he did have an awesome season. The Calder is going to be between Cole Caulfield, Moritz Sider, and Spencer Knight. Caulfield had 45 points, Sider had 42, but he's a defenseman, and Spencer Knight, oh, he had 36 wins. I would think that Spencer Knight should win that, I think. The executive of the year uh, are Brad Triving, Don Sweeney, and Julien Brisebois. The Silky is going to be between Brad Marchand, Ryan O'Reilly, and Sean Couturier. Lady Bing between Austin Matthews, Kyle Connor, and Shea Theodore. Mark Messier Leadership Award between Josh Bailey, Ryan Ellis, and Steven Stamkos. The Ted Lindsay Award is going to go between Austin Matthews, Connor McDavid, and Leon Dreisaitl. The Jack Adams between Bruce Cassidy, Daryl Sutter, and John Cooper. Uh, Nick Paul is almost back from his injury. And I have to select a Hall of Fame nominee. Oh, man. Alright, I'm a very flawed and biased man. I'm going with Keith Ketchup. Maybe the numbers are not there, but he's one of the only four players in the history of the NHL to score 50 goals in a season and rack up 200 penalty minutes. You have to, to have talent to score 50 when you're in the box that often, so he's my pick. There's a lot of other great names in there. You guys know I'm pretty partial to Gary Suter, for example. I like Patrick Eliash. I like Tepo Numenen. But Keith Ketchuk is my pick. Alright, and yes, I would have picked him even if he wasn't Brady's dad. Now, maybe a little bit more importantly, there were games that were played yesterday for the playoffs. So the Blues beat San Jose. Uh, the Flames beat LA. Dallas won against Winnipeg. Colorado beat Vegas. Carolina beat Pittsburgh. The Islanders beat Tampa Bay, Washington beat Florida, and Toronto beat Boston. Nick Paul is completely recovered. Good for him. We're not playing games, though. <clears throat> All 
All right, so the, the league says no suspension for Brian Rust in Pittsburgh. So he remains in the lineup. Strong game for Mark Stone in Vegas. He had a goal in four assists against Colorado. Oh, dear God, a 9-2 game in the playoffs. Somebody's going to have a fit over that. Artem Zub is almost 100%. And Calfoot returns. All right, so San Jose beat St. Louis. Calgary took a 2-0 lead in their series against the Kings. The Jets tied their series against Dallas. Vegas destroyed Colorado 9-2. Uh, Carolina beat Pittsburgh 4-2. Tampa Bay got revenge on the Islanders 1-7-2. Florida beat Washington 6-4. And Toronto beat Boston 4-3 to take a 2-0 lead in that series. That's okay, we've seen that happen before. Maybe history will repeat itself. Maybe Toronto will win the first three games and then, you know, lose the next four. It happened to them against Boston. Artem Zub is back. I like Zub a lot. I like me some Zub. Shea Theodore is out three weeks with injury. That's a tough bl blow for the Vegas Golden Knights. Three weeks with a rotted or cuff strain. At least it's not torn. Those things take forever to heal. All right, so St. Louis beat San Jose 8-4. Calgary beat LA 4-3. So my friend uh, JT Dutch's team is trading 3 nothing in their series. Winnipeg beat Dallas. Colorado came back and beat Vegas. Carolina beat Pittsburgh. Tampa Bay beat the Islanders. Florida won against Washington. And Toronto has a 3 nothing lead over Boston. Feels like we've sang that song before, folks. Dylan, Dylan Coughlin keeps fans on their feet all night with Vegas. He had a hat-trick against the Avalanche. Passes on point for David Perron with St. Louis. He had a goal and four assists against the Sharks. Mason Shaw feels better. That's good. I, I liked him. That was a, a good pickup. World Championship starts today. All right. Oh, do I have players going there? Oh yeah, Thomas Shabbat, Artem Zub, Brady Kachuk, and Sim Stutzel are going there. All right. Oh, St. Louis beat San Jose eight one. Wow, there's a lot of ice scoring affairs in those playoffs. Uh, Elias alive. They won four three against Calgary. Dallas beat Winnipeg. Vegas beat Colorado. Pittsburgh won against Carolina. They're still alive. Tampa Bay beat at the Islanders. Washington beat Florida. Oh, Toronto swept Boston. Ooh. Are they going to win the cup? I know many sense fans that hope that they don't. Russia defeats Great Britain in the World Championship. Artem Zub didn't get a point in that game. Mika Zibanejad lights the lamp against Belarus. He had three goals and an assist. Canada defeats Kazakhstan in World Championship. He... Thomas Shabbat had an assist in that game. That's pretty good. United States defeat Norway. Brady Kachuk had two goals. Oh, yeah. Oh, it was a 14-1 game. The, so, suddenly, the two-goal game seems just a tad less impressive. Uh, good night for Patrick Kane. He had a hat-trick, three goals in that same game. Dylan Larkin, a goal in four assists. JT Miller... Same game. Two goals and four assists. Jack Hughes in that same game. A goal and four assists. Germany defeats Slovakia 7-4. Tim Stutzel didn't get a point. And Victor Mete is going to be back soon. All right. Good night for Matthew Barzal. He had four assists against the Lightning. 
determined it's almost 100 percent all right so playoffs 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 san jose beat st louis 3-2 ellie's still alive they won 4-2 they're trading 3-2 in their series now against calgary dallas beat winnipeg 5-2 colorado beat vegas 4-3 washington won four nothing against florida islanders beat tampa bay 7-4 and carolina beat pittsburgh 6-2 Almost a uh, rooting for the Kings here. Russia edged by Belarus. Oh, that's an upset. Belarus beat Russia in the World Championships. Zood didn't get a point. Scott Conway set everything up tonight for Great Britain. They beat Denmark 5 2 and Yad 4 assists. Memorable night for Elias Peterson with uh, Sweden. They beat Latvia 11 2. Two goals and six assists. Wow. Canada de defeats Italy 8-0. Thomas Shabbat with an assist. Excellent passing leads. A productive night for Connor McDavid. He had four assists in that game. Uh, Claude Giroux, one goal and four assists. Evander Kane, hat trick. And United States defeats Germany. Brady Kachuk got a goal. Tim Stutzel didn't get anything. And Victor Mete is completely recovered. Right, San Jose beat St. Louis 4-2. Winnipeg beat Dallas 3-2. Oh, the Flames finally eliminated LA with a 4-2 win. Washington blanked Florida 3-0. Tampa Bay beat the Islanders 3-1. And Colorado shut out Vegas 4-0. Russia, de Russia defeats Denmark 5-1 Zub with no points. Red light stays on for Kevin Fiala. He had three goals and three assists against Great Britain. Good night for Nico Ischier. He had a goal and four assists in that same game. Gregory Hoffman in that same game. Three goals and two assists. Norway edged by Canada. Canada won 2-1 against Norway. Wow, tight game. No points for Shabbat. Germany defeats Kazakhstan. Stutzel with an assist. And the US beat Finland 4-1. Brady Kachuk with a goal. Your, your one and only Brady Kachuk. All right, let's go ahead and advance that here. All right, there's two series left. San Jose beat St. Louis 3-1 and Dallas beat Winnipeg 5-2. Now, is that over or are there going to be more games? No, it's over. All right, so for round two, Colorado is going to be facing Calgary and San Jose is going to be facing Dallas in the west. In the east, Toronto, Tampa Bay is going to face each other. And so is Carolina and Washington. Russia defeats Latvia in World Championship. Artem Zub with an assist. It was a 6 0 affair. Canada defeats Slovakia 9 3. Thomas Shabbat with an assist as well. Germany beats Norway 2-1, Stutzel didn't get a point, and United States defeats Italy 5-0, Brady Kachuk with a goal and an assist. Alright, let's get this thing going. Alright, so Dallas won 4-3 against San Jose, took a 1-0 lead in that series. Colorado beat Calgary 4-2, Tampa Bay won 2-1 against Toronto, and Washington was defeated by Carolina 3 to 1. Who will win the Stanley Cup? In my universe here. Man, I don't know. I will say in real life. I mean, we take for you know, the Sens are not in the playoffs, so I'm allowed to make a prediction for another team. This year, I really like Calgary. I'm going to go ahead and say that I really like them. I think that Daryl Sutter is a, a, 
a pretty great coach. I know that a lot of people have problems with Daryl Sutter, and that's okay. You're allowed to your own opinion. But he's pretty good at turning teams around. AFJ, hey, I'm... I just went on record with saying that in real life, I believe that Calgary has a shot at winning the cup, that I like their team this year. So, yeah, I think that they have a pretty good shot. Now, I mean, anything can happen, right? But I like their team. I just do. So, we'll see what happens. So, how have you been, FJ? Russia defeats Switzerland in the World Championships. No points for Artem Zub. Canada defeats Germany in World Championship. Shabbat had two assists. Sim Stuzo didn't get any points because his team got shut out. United States defeats Slovakia in World Championship. Well, that's good to hear. God, yeah, COVID sucks. I, I had it twice. Something about, you know, you can catch it by licking strangers or something like that. And then I'm like, why didn't Brad Marchand catch it? And I'm like, you know. All right, strong game for Patrick Kane. He had four goals against Slovakia. Andrei Svechnikov has a good game for Carolina. He had three goals and an assist against the Caps. All right, so San Jose beat Dallas 4-2. Calgary won 4-2 against Colorado. Um, Tampa Bay beat Toronto 4-3. And Carolina beat Washington 6-3. Carolina is another, another team that I like a lot. I really like Rod Brennamore as a coach. His teams are always really well prepared. They are always on top of possession for the puck. They play well. They have some good players. Uh, pretty good defense. They have pretty much everything. So Carolina and Calgary are probably uh, two teams that I'm going to be looking at in the playoffs. Not necessarily cheering for them, but I'm going to be maybe paying a little bit more attention to those two. <clears throat> Roby Yarventy converts to right wing. Czech Republic defeats Russia. Artem Zub, no points. Canada defeats United States. Uh, an assist for Brady. Uh, sorry, an assist for Thomas Shabbat. Brady Kachuk with a goal. And Germany defeats Finland. With an assist. Oh yeah, Montreal has been playing pretty well lately. You are correct. There is no arguing from me coming here. I had my doubts about getting a coach that had never coached at really any level except like for his kids, but it's working. Prolific passing night for Mark Edward Vlasic. He had four assists against Dallas in a 7-2 win. All right, so San Jose beat Dallas 7-2. Colorado beat Calgary 5-2. Toronto beat Tampa Bay 4-3. And Washington beat Carolina 2-1. Sweden defeats Russia in World Championship. Zub with no points. Canada defeats Finland. Thomas Shabbat with no points. United States defeats Kazakhstan with a goal with for Brady Kachuk. A night to remember for Zilan Larkin. Two goals and four assists in that same game. Italy edged by Germany. Stuzo no points. Alright, so... Czech Republic will face Slovakia, United States will face Sweden, Canada will face Russia, and Switzerland will face Germany. Mason Shaw fitting better? Cool. Shane Wright, Brad Lambert, a top final central scouting list. Yeah, I don't know who I'm gonna who I'm gonna draft. I'm not gonna draft anybody. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna make FJ happy and I'm gonna trade my first rounder to Montreal for Ben Chirot. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna completely shave my head and I'm gonna like put a and then I'm gonna put a tag here that says I my name is Peter Chirelli. Strong night for William Nylander. Forces against Tampa Bay. Uh, Dallas beat San Jose 6-2. Calgary beat Colorado 3-2. Toronto beat Tampa Bay 6-5. And Carolina beat Washington 5-3. Washington facing elimination for sure. I think the other series are all tied at 2. But I could be wrong. Hello, my name is Peter Chiarelli. I will trade you Taylor All for Cody CC. A strong night for Lassie Thompson. Four assists against the Wilkes-Barre Scranton. That you know that there was a big rumor about that, right? When whenever he traded Taylor All for Adam Larson, it, there was a there was a rumor that uh, it could have been a Taylor Hall for Cody CC trade. <laughs> Man, I wish. <laughs> oh boy. Sweden defeats United States in World Championships. No points for Shabbat. Uh, Ketchup. Shabbat had a goal and an assist against Russia. Zub had nothing. <coughs> Switzerland defeats Germany. No points for Stuzo. Mason Shaw almost recovered. Oh, Mitch Marner is day to day. Oh, Austin Matthews is also hurt with a calf laceration. He's out for three weeks. Ooh, Toronto lost Marner and Matthews in the same game. Something, something about karma or something. All right. Uh, San Jose beat Dallas 3-2. Colorado beat Calgary 3-2. Tampa Bay beat Toronto 6-5. And Carolina eliminated Washington in 5 with a 3-2 victory. So Carolina goes to the Eastern Conference Finals. The Sens play the Kraken for the very first time tonight. Philip Forsberg is out for six months. Oh, I don't know. Nah, I don't think it's gonna go into the. Oh, well, wait, let me. Oh, yeah, he's gonna miss the start of the season. So Philip Forsberg went to the World Championships and he's out six months. He's gonna miss the start of the next season. Canada defeats Switzerland in World Championships. Uh. With a 3 0 win, Shabbat with two assists. A good night for Tyler Sagan. He had four assists against the Sharks. Tampa Bay beat Toronto 3 2. Calgary beat Carrado 4 0. Dallas beat San Jose 6 1. So Tampa Bay eliminates Toronto. So Tampa Bay Carolina in the Eastern Conference Final. And I think the other two series are tied at three games apiece. Canada defeats Sweden in the World Championship with a 6-3 victory. Shabbat with an assist. Jacob Vrana has a memorable game. He had three goals against Switzerland. World Championship MVP won by Thomas Shabbat. Oh, yours and only Thomas Shabbat. He didn't even have that great of a season for me. He had 38 points. World Championship best goalie won by Martin Jones. Best defenseman, Jared Spurgeon. And Canada wins thanks to their 6-3 win over Sweden. Oh yeah? What are you playing now? 
Come on, entertain me a little bit. I can't be the only one doing the entertainment here. Tell me more. Great night for Johnny Godro. He had three goals and an assist against the Avalanche, and I think that Calgary makes it to the Western Conference Final. And they're going to be facing Dallas. So we have Calgary, Dallas in the West. And we have Carolina, Tampa Bay in the East. So the two teams that I said that I like for this year in real life are in the last four teams standing. Current day, current day Cubs. All right. So what's going to be your approach? Because the, the Cubs have talent, but it looks like they're just a little short. Yeah, money, money, money. I like money. Oh, Jamie Ben got suspended in Dallas. He's gonna miss three games. Oh, those are playoff games too. They count for more. All right, so Carolina beat Tampa Bay 4-2 and Dallas beat Calgary 2-1. Oh, so do the owners, man. I don't feel bad for any parties in that dispute. Advance one more day. Wow, we can see the scores here. All right, so Carolina leads 2 0 in their series against Tampa Bay with a 5 2 win, and Calgary beat Dallas 3 2 to tie the series at 1. All right, top setting Ottawa jerseys for May Matt Murray, Thomas Shabbat, Anton Forsberg, Tyler Ennis, and Connor Brown those I like to look at I don't get to have those in historical so you know I don't get that little moment I know millionaires versus billionaires and here I am looking into my car seat to, to put gas in my car looking for change um. All right, not a whole lot to get too excited over. Top setting NHL jerseys for me, of course. No Ottawa Senators there. All right, so we already know that Carolina leads to nothing in their series, and the other series is tied at one. Yeah, I know it's crazy, man. So do you convert like your currency in Norway into dollars so that I would be able to tell how much money you've put in there? Is that what just happened? <laughs> yeah, that's an insane amount. I know I filled up about one quarter of a tank and it was $16. Like my car to fill up usually, usually with normal gas prices is around $25. I have a small car, I don't have like a, a big thing that, you know, consumes a whole lot of gas. Alright. Oh, I need to vote for... I think I'm gonna make a... I think Alfie should be in the Hall of Fame. 
I think Dave Taylor should be there. And I and I want Keith Ketchup to go. There you go. Yeah, that's sadly how the world works. I wish it was different, but yeah, it's pretty bad. Pretty bad right now. Alright, Carolina took a 3 0 lead in their series against Tampa Bay with a 3 2 win, and Calgary beat Dallas 3 1 to take a 2 1 lead in that series. Jamie ba ah, Jimmy Ben is back from suspension. Tampa Bay if it, uh, avoided elimination with a 5-2 win, and Dallas won 4-1 against Calgary, so that series is tied at two games apiece. Carolina eliminated Tampa Bay. They are going to the Stanley Cup Finals. Dallas took a 3-2 lead in their series against Calgary. Oh, and Dallas eliminated the Calgary. So we have a Stanley Cup Finals between the Dallas Stars and the Carolina Hurricanes. Miro Iskinen is hurt. He's going to be out two weeks with a strain groin. In real life, Iskinen has mononucleosis, I think, that I saw. Or was that uh, like a prank that I saw? Jack Capuano's contract expires. I'll keep him. Stay on board, buddy. That's fine. Davis Payne wants to stay. I'll keep him. Pierre Gru wants to stay. He's a scout. I always keep my scouts. I don't fiddle with that. Rob Murphy wants to stay. He's a scout. Jim Clark, the scout, wants to stay as well. He's kind of old. Maybe he's going to retire. Per pitch. Another scout. Oh, dear God. You're old, too. We have a lot of old scouts. Hopefully, they still have good eyes. Steve Sterling wants to stay. He's a scout. Another one that's pretty old. Don Boyd, the scout, wants to stay. You can stay, that's okay. Jerry Townend, the assistant, co assistant coach, wants to stay. Stay on board, buddy. And Bobby Strom, the scout. Dear God, all right, I guess I'll do Bernie Nichols then, oops. I don't want Jeremy Roenick in the all, he's a, he's sexist. All right, so Carolina won the first game of the Stanley Cup Finals, 5-0 against Dallas. Let's advance a little bit here. We are unable to produce four nominees. Maybe there's not four deserving uh, players. Carolina won the second game 7-4. I think Carolina might be running away with the Stanley Cup here. Excellent passing leads to Product of Night for Ridley Gregg. Four assists against Gatineau. 
Paul Stashney could be done. 36 years old, Paul Stashney is contemplating retirement. Dallas won game number 331, so Carolina is up 2 1 in their series now. Carolina won game 4-2-1. They're up 3-1 in the Stanley Cup Finals. They are one win away from hoisting the Stanley Cup. And they did. So Carolina wins the Stanley Cup in five games. That's new. I wonder if the, that's uh, in historical as well. I didn't see that when I was uh, doing my historical run with the Kings. So I don't know if it's been added since or if it's only in current day that you see that. Hurricanes win Stanley Cup Finals. Obviously, we just saw that. All right. So, cap has extended. Martin Jones to go to free agency. No new deal for Cal Clutterbuck. Nino Niedreter. He's going to be a free agent. So is Stefan Matteau. I think I can start signing guys on the 23rd, if I've got that right. Like if I want to sign Dao. Yeah, June 23rd. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm not bringing any of those guys back, so I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can get anything if I try to trade them. Not a whole lot of uh, offers, huh? Oh, I could get Tyson Jost. Hmm. Maybe. I mean, Jost was never like... Like when he was drafted, he was supposed to kind of be better than what he is, but he is not a bad player. What is the Sharks offering me? Jaden of the Walks. I think I'm making that trade. How much money is Tyson and Joe's gonna make? Two thousand. Uh, not two thousand. <laughs> yeah, he's only gonna make two thousand dollars. He's gonna be vastly underpaid. Now he's making two millions. Obviously, I'm gonna go ahead and. I'm making that trade. I'm I'm getting Tyson Jost on the Suns. Of course, I can't make that trade anymore. All right. So yeah, he's not, you know, an incredible player, but he's okay. I don't mind having him in my bottom six, two millions. That's okay. All right, let's see what other damage we can do with some trades here. Zelan Gambrell, he had an okay season, I guess. Better than what he would do in real life. Toronto and Colorado again. Right, Toronto wants to trade me Joseph Dusak. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna make that trade. Andreas Wingerly. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that either. Alright, so we're not gonna trade Gambro. 
I'm not gonna take on a contract just for the sake of taking a contract. Um, and then Tyler Ennis. Let's see if somebody wants Ennis. Nobody wants Tyler Ennis. Oh no, that's not true. Trade proposal from the Calgary Flames. Oh, Trevor Lewis. Yeah, I don't want Trevor Lewis. All right, I'm not trading anything either. Well, I managed to trade Zach Sanford, which I wasn't bringing back in for Tyler Jost. I'll take that. I'm gonna advance to June 23rd and I'm gonna sign a couple rookies here. No new deal for Kevin Rooney with the Rangers. He's gonna be a free agent and Vinny Nestrosa may walk. Alex Galchenyuk will not return in Arizona. He also will not return in Ottawa. I can already tell you that. All right, it's the 23rd, so now I'm going to go ahead and sign some guys. How many contracts do I have at the moment? Okay, I can only sign four right now, but I'm gonna get more room on July 1st. So should I wait until July 1st? Maybe not. Let's see here. Yeah, I need to sign Philip Daou now. And Yakov Novak as well. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and sign those two for sure. Right, and then Novak. All right, so a bunch of players are going to be, you know, free agents and stuff. <laughs> oh, the Devils are looking to trade Dougie Hamilton. Marsha so is on the market as well. Wow. Feel like there's a whole that, that there's a lot more to look at in current data and in historical lot a lot more moving pieces for sure. I've always liked Dougie Hamilton. Am I making a trade for him or attempting to make a trade for him? I'm willing to trade two Lilo the Line cards for Dougie Hamilton. He didn't have a great season, so I don't know. Maybe I should just let my guys grow. 
man, I don't know. Brad Malone might be on the move in Boston. All right, Yakov Novak signed the contract. Oh, Vegas is shopping Yevgeny Dadanov. Oh, I don't know, man. Uh, a sign that wrote in rookie card. Maybe for Dougie Hamilton and Jack Hughes. Maybe. Ivan Bouchard is going to look at offer sheets. Okay. Will Bitten might be in the, on the move in St. Louis. Oh, it's the awards ceremony. I can see how much I didn't win anything. The heart goes to Connor McDavid. As long as it's not Austin Matthews and, in, and his porn stash, I'm fine. Connie Smite goes to Andrei Svechnikov. He had 31 points in 20 games in the playoffs. Calder goes to Cole Caulfield. There you go, FJ. You, you, you should be happy with that. Cole Caulfield won the, the Calder. The Norris goes to Victor Hedman. Selkie goes to Ryan O'Reilly. The Vizina goes to Connor Hellebuck. Executive, executive of the Year goes to Julien Brisebois. And the Jack Adams goes to John Cooper. Yeah, he's doing better now. Gold Caulfield uh, fits him more now than Cold Caulfield. Which is what he was uh, with Zucharm as the as a coach. I scored nine points. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we didn't do all that. All right, so I have a point. We're going to go put it in negotiating skills. All right, so we looked at all of that already. I'm just going to delete that. That's the... All right, uh, the NHL All-Stars, we don't have anybody in there. The All-Rookie Team, nobody in there. All right, so Alexander Edler is on the block. And Keegan Kolesar as well. All right, I'm going to double check one last time. Yeah, I'm not bringing back any of those guys. Turning to July 1st.
It's taking a second, isn't it? My cats have been playing with uh, catnip toys, so they're exhausted and I as fuck. So they're completely veg on the bed. Now, that doesn't mean much because cats sleep on average 16 hours a day. Oh, you aspire to, uh, to play with catnip toys? Is that it? Is that what you mean? <laughs> uh... Well, with some skill and some goodwill, I'm sure that you can. Nothing wrong with that as long as it's not our drugs. Oh, that takes a lot longer to uh, move to July 1st in, uh, in modern day. God, I probably have time to go make a... I probably have time to go work a, an eight hour shift or something. Make that time count. You know, you play historical for like six or seven years and you get really, you know, used to certain things. You know, like this junction of the game only taking maybe 30 seconds to go through. Wow, my computer is like, oh. <laughs> All right, so there's a whole bunch of news. We're gonna go through that and then Whew, that's a lot of stuff to go through. All right. Top setting Ottawa Senators jersey for June. Matt Murray, Thomas Shabbat, Anton Forsberg, Tyler Ennis, and Connor Brown. Well, two of them are not going to be showing up there anymore. Jay Beagle retired. Not an NHL player anymore. Retires at 36 years old and two and a half star player. Tyler Bozak also retires. 36 years old, two stars. Zdeno Shara retires, 45 years old, two-star player. No, it doesn't. I made it far enough that... Thing is, is that in the historical, they don't have, like, all of the leagues and everything, so it doesn't get added back in the database. Like, the rookies, yes, the rookies are going to be there. It's always the, you know, the real rookies and everything. But, like, you're not, you're not going to have the juniors showing up or anything like that. Blake Como also retires. 36 years old, three-star player. And as FJ liked to say the, uh, uh, the other day, uh, Blake Como should have retired years ago. Alexander Edler has retired as well. 36 years old, a star and a half player. Darren Elm in Buffalo retires, 35 years old, three-star player. Trevor Lewis retires in Calgary, 35 years old, star and a half. Patrick Marlowe's number gets retired in San Jose. A little bit too sad that they're retiring the wrong number, but, you know, it is what it is. I've seen on the forums that it seems to be an issue with players that have played for more than one team. 
Joe Pedelski walks away from Aki. So 37 years old, Joe Pedelski retires. Three and a half star player. Brad Richardson, 37, retires. Two and a half star player. Andre Sequeira retires in Boston, 36 years old, one star and a half. Jason Spezza retires, 39 years old, two and a half star player. Paul Stashney retires, 36, two and a half stars. Joe Thornton retires, 42 years old, two and a half star player. Key Tiandel retires at 35, two and a half star player. Cogliano also retires, 35, two and a half star player. Development report, oh, not a whole lot to see, huh? Top selling jerseys for June in the NHL. Of course, no Ottawa Senators in there. Michael Hutchinson is on the block in Toronto. Alright. Oh dear God. I could have had I could have gotten Morgan Frost for Nikita Zaitsev. I hope that they offer it to me again. <laughs> I want to make that trade. Why is it? Uh, why is it cancelled five times? Like the, uh, like they sent the offer and then they, they were like cancel, 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 cancel. Ah, what a stupid mistake I made! Punch the keyboard. Steven uh, Dubnik is retiring at thirty-six years old. A star and a half. Brian Elliott retires, 37 years old, three stars. Nick Foligno retires, 34 years old, two and a half star player. Andy Green, 39, one star and a half. Zach Parisi, 37, two stars. Eric Stahl, 37, two stars. Craig Anderson, 41 years old, two and a half. All right, now we have the, the, con the contract deals so I don't really care much about that that's how much money we get four year 23 million per year Eugene Melnick is concerned with my work. I'm concerned with his ownership. If that, you know, that's a two way street, buddy. All right, more, you know, deals for TV. Oh, Italy is going to host the next Winter Olympic. And Germany is going to host the next world championship. Oh, dear God. Look at all those trades. All right, the trade between Edmonton and Anaheim. Edmonton uh, uh, sent Cody CC to Anaheim for a fifth round draft pick. And then they sent Zach Cashin to Anaheim for a fourth round draft pick. So basically, they traded Cody CC and Zach Cashin for a fourth and a fifth. Then Edmonton made a trade with Arizona. Duncan Keith goes to Arizona for a third. Minnesota and Arizona traded. Fifth round draft pick goes to Arizona for Dimitri Kulikov. So Kulikov. Oh, no, sorry. Minnesota gets a fifth round draft pick for Kulikov. That makes more sense. And, our, and then Victor Rask goes to the Coyotes for a fourth round draft pick. Bruce Boudreaux retired. Oh, former Montreal Canadian Fra Francis Bouillon is now the head coach in Vancouver. That's interesting. So Francis Bouillon, head coach of the Vancouver Canucks now. Lindy Ruff uh, retired. And Paul Maurice is going to be the new coach in New Jersey. Oh, Jeremy Jacobs might sell the, sell the Bruins. I don't see that happening in real life, but yeah. Stan Kroenke is no longer the Colorado owner. 
David Poyle retired as the GM of the Predators. He's replaced by Jeff Kilty. Lou Lamoriello retires as well. Bill Scott is the new GM in Uniondale. Coach Kevin McCarthy retires. Rick Bonus retires. Todd Riordan becomes the new Dallas coach. Jacques Laperriere, okay. Oh, I lost. Uh, I lost two scouts. I'm gonna get need to get two more scouts. Let's look at some scouts. Get Steve Kirkpatrick, based in New Jersey. Let's get this guy. Let's uh, let's try to find a friend for Tim Stutzel. I'm not afraid of making bold moves. All right, so that takes care of that. Now it is July 1st. Oh, I want to sign some guys, don't I? All right. Now let's see. Sang Jake Sanderson. Right, that's the guy that I want to offer some money to. Wait, is he a RFA? No, he's not supposed to be, I don't think. Oh, he is. Well, let's not do that then. I could trade for his rights, though. That's something I'm gonna look at next time. I think I'm gonna go ahead and stop here for today. It took me over an hour just to get to this point. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and save the game. So next time out, I'm going to do the off-season and I'm going to do the pre-season. I'm going to try to have some trades in the works or something, and then we'll go from there. Uh, of course, as usual, I want to thank you for tuning in today. And if you're catching this on YouTube later and that you like the video, despite the Sens not playing a single game, then please feel free to like, subscribe, share, comment, all of that good stuff. And until I roll this game again, I'll see you folks next time. Thank you.